And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Uh, guys, sorry for no coverage yesterday, no live stream, no match reaction um, and all the rest of it. I was actually sick, uh, I was in bed all day, um, so yeah, I did watch the game of course, but yeah, I was really, really ill and um, yeah, I needed to take a day off, uh, so yeah, apologies for that. Uh, feeling a lot better today, which is good, but um, yeah, in today's video guys, we're going to be discussing a bit uh, about the game of course, whilst also sort of going through the massive Ryan Gravenberg news. Um, so yeah, guys, if you haven't already hit that like button, then please consider doing so, and of course, subscribing to the channel for daily Liverpool content, as we're so, so close to our goal of 50,000 subscribers. So Liverpool, of course, finished or rounded off the first part of the season, if you like, as we go into the international break with a 3-0 win over Aston Villa. And again, another, another really exciting performance from the Reds. I thought Liverpool played absolutely brilliantly. And I guess this is a team, by the way, that are being lauded within the English media. A team that are expected to be competing for the Champions League places. A team that have started the season pretty well. Um, and a team that it maybe looked like a game that could have been a potential stumbling block. However, Liverpool played absolutely brilliantly. Dominated the game throughout and uh, really, again, making yet another statement uh, within this Premier League season. So Bosley's goal, beautiful. Uh, Cash own goal, Darwin Nunez's goal, um, and then of course Salah uh, rounding it off. But a fantastic win, um, and of course um, I'm really really proud of the team and, and Liverpool going into the international break third in the table, uh, three wins from four. Obviously that draw against Chelsea on the opening day, but you know it's not been an easy couple of games. It's not been an easy four games that Liverpool have had if you put everything into context as well. But really excited for this season. I've been saying in plenty. Vi uh, videos in the past, especially in the summer, I do think we are a potential title challengers this year. I know it's maybe going a bit too far for some, um, but I really do think we have the best attacking players within the league. I think our midfield looks brilliant. The addition of Sabozlai really, really looks like a bargain, doesn't it? When you're looking at what other teams are paying for in terms of midfield players, getting him for 60 million quid, I haven't seen a player like him. He is brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant to watch. Um, a canister as well. So yeah, everyone yesterday as well. And in terms of going into the game, we didn't know what to expect. I know I did in the match preview, I said about Matip and Joe Gomez. Joe Gomez was absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, I think everyone all around was was very, very good. Trent Alexander-Arnold, very, very good as well, of course. Uh, did pick up an injury. Uh, however, Jurgen Klopp has sort of settled nerves. He will go for a scan, but did say it doesn't look too serious. So hopefully he'll have this of time now with the international break to recover and be back ready again um, after the international break but potentially yeah, I'm really really happy uh, with the team in general just a quick one guys to tell you that this video is sponsored by Slick Gorilla. Slick Gorilla is the leading men's hairstyling brand that offers high quality and innovative hair products. It has built a cult following by blending trends, creativity and style, successfully disrupting the men's hair care industry. They are offering all LFC News viewers 15% off all their products, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description. Anyway, let's get back into today's video. Now, as I just touched upon there, of course, is the international break. I've said so many times here on the channel, I actually dislike the international break for many reasons. Um, mainly, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just, I, I like the Euros and I like the World Cup and that sort of stuff, but I just can't stand like the qualifiers. I can't stand the, like the friendly games. I just find it really boring. I'm not going to lie. I just, I just always like to have the club football back, Liverpool back and all the rest of it. So I just, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of international football, except as I said, the Euros, the World Cup are, are pretty good. But apart from that, it's, it's, it's it's a dead week for me, really. <laughs> just gives me some time to, to, to take a break or whatever and, and, and just relax. Um, but, of course, we do have some massive Ryan Gravenberg news ahead of it. Uh, Ryan Gravenberg, of course, joining on deadline day, Liverpool's fourth and final signing of the window. And the big news is that he has indicated to the Netherlands head coach that he does not want to join up with the Netherlands um, and wants to focus on Liverpool during the international break. So will not travel now to Holland. He wants to stay behind with his new teammate, Bedham 
yourself in um, and get ready for the next part of the campaign. So yeah, they announced that earlier on the national side, basically said Ryan Grumbo will not be available for the September break. Um, he will remain with this club. He will be replaced by Fed De Jong. Um, and as I said, uh, Morris came out since then and it's basically he has told his manager that he wants to just focus on Liverpool for the time being. So yeah, a good decision there. Um, I mean, as I said, I don't like to risk players, especially new players, uh, during the international break in these games that don't really mean too much, uh, not to be disrespectful. Um, but yeah, hope yeah, it's a good decision for him. But big, 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 big news as well. Um, and as I said, hopefully he can bed himself in, get ready to go for that first game back after the international break. So yeah, fantastic stuff to hear there with regards to Ryan Gravenberg. How it's not all that always the case. We have got a handful of players representing their nation uh, over this week, of course. Um, and we will keep you up to date with the Liverpool players in action. Of course, there's a handful of players. Um, I don't know if we've got any England representatives. I'm not sure. Uh, but you know, Andy, it's Scotland. You've got all the other players like Van Dykes and, and stuff like that going away so we have quite a handful of internationals and we'll keep you up to date with all of their sort of progress whilst they are away with their nations over this week um, but in other sort of stuff as well, just to go through, I am going to go for a bit more of a deeper dive in the um, the game yesterday in the set today's second video. Um, but yeah, I will go into a bit more detail a bit later on. Um, but also as well, um, Katie Gordon. Katie Gordon had played his first game for Liverpool in 19 months. Do you remember the name? Yes. Uh, Katie Gordon, a player that was lauded within the sort of Liverpool U Franks. Um, and as I said, went out for injury for a very, very long period of time. 19 months he's been out especially for a young boy that's a that's a very very long time um sidelines is february 2022 um but basically came on as liverpool under 21s taken on uh middlesbrough under 21s they did lose on the day of course at the xa training center but it's good to see him back again after such a long period out with injury um but yeah that's pretty much all i've got for you today um i'm just going to go through some of the other results over the weekend um i know some people were happy with yesterday's result manchester united losing of course to arsenal um but yeah the table as things stand looks pretty pretty good to be fair manchester city the only side with a hundred percent record at the moment um 12 points tottenham in second with 10 uh, liverpool in third with 10 west ham in um, fourth of 10 and then of course Arsenal being the only other side to have the same record as us West Ham Tottenham as they are in fifth with 10 points uh, Manchester United Chelsea they're both in 11th and 12th and the bottom three are Burnley Luton and Everton so yeah looks up to be fair guys uh, Burnley and Luton the only sides in the league that haven't got a single point just yet um, but anyway guys do let me know your thoughts on the weekend do let me know your thoughts on Ryan Gravenbeck's decision to stay with Liverpool um, and just generally let me know your thoughts on yeah the, on how you're feeling about Liverpool going into the season as I say in the comment section below that does bring us in today's video as always please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content remember to check out our channel spot Sponsors, Slick Gorilla, they are offering all LSC News viewers 15% off all of their products. So as I said, browse the collection by going down into the link in the description. Um, and yeah, get 15% off all of their products. Thank you guys and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.